I'm Tom Cat. And this is Mystery of Cheese. And this is our review of the Marvel Legends X-Men building figure of the Juggernaut. Bitch. So there he is, all pieced together finally. He's one of the really awesomest build figures they've come up with recently. But they've had a lot of awesome ones recently. But this was really cool. Because it's the Juggernaut. <laughs> um, I like his teeth. Yeah. Like, I love the crazy faces they've been doing on the villains. But yeah, he's got a crazy face under there. Giant teeth, and he just looks insane. You can't take the helmet off, though. I wish you could. Well, I guess it don't really matter. But I just... I love his crazy face. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> it did a really awesome job sculpting that helmet, making it look all beat up and everything. It looks kind of funny when you... Because it's so detailed and textured compared to like the rest of them. Because it looks so plain and smooth. So smooth mm -hmm. and shiny. But I don't think this is supposed to be metal anyway, so... It kind of makes sense. It just bets there's some texture or something on there. And he's got some metal over here in his arms. These are like loose for some reason. I guess so the articulation can still work right. You can see they're not... They're not completely, like, stuck in place. The ones on his hands are, obviously. They're just sculpted in. And his belt, belt is loose. He's got a belly button. Yeah, what the hell's with the belly button? <laughs> <laughs> why, why can you see his belly button through the suit? That just seems weird. They probably plan on using this body for the Hulk or something. something. <laughs> <laughs> or some other shirtless giant. Okay. So I like the little bolts and... Nuts on his uh, helmet there too. That looks cool. And the body, I do like the sculpt of the muscles and everything. They look really cool. Really nice, big, muscular, giant, superhero type body. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. What? That was a lot of adjectives. It was. <laughs> this is like the classic Juggernaut outfit. I don't know, I really like this figure. I'm going to compare it to the Marvel Select because I still like the Marvel Select better. But this one's still pretty cool. It's a little more articulated, I think. And let's go over articulation. So the head can go like that. That'd be hard to look around with this kind of a helmet. <laughs> um, I know that from experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up as the Juggernaut once, and it was not easy to see out of the damn helmet. Mm -hmm. I ran into things a lot. You'd have to have a very <laughs> odd-shaped head to get your face up close to these holes. I think he's got, like, tape to his face, and the back's just sticking out. Yeah, that would have to be or something, because how else would that work? <laughs> not saying that, that the one that we made was, you know, designed very well, because it was made out of a garbage can lid. But still, my face is pretty far away from the holes. Yeah. <laughs> up, up over the shoulders. Really good articulation for such a big guy. And then it could spin there. Biceps. Then single joint at the elbow. And the wrist it could spin. And also go like that. Tilt like, just a little bit. Yeah. Then at the torso, you can go back and forward and make a loud clicking sound when he does it. That's the sound it makes when I turn like that. <laughs> and he can spin there too. And this belt's just loose. Then he can do a split like that. He can kick forward. He can spin there too. And a single joint at the knee. But can he do the boogaloo? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Me neither. And then down at the ankles, he has really good articulation at the ankles. Look at that shit. So he's a big, huge, bulky dude, but still has really decent articulation. Which is awesome. Now, we're talking about the sculpt of the body, which I like the muscle sculpt, but I think they should have did something with, like, the design here. Like, it's just all painted on all this. It seems like that should be, like, bumpy. Like, you could feel the, you know what I mean? Feel the design. Like maybe this would be textured and then this would be ribbed or something down here. Or at least like have 
these be raised or something, or yeah. the black is something. That would have been cool. It really does seem like they want to be able to use this for other stuff, so they didn't... They just painted it how it is. Yeah. Well, these boots are probably not going to be able to use for too many people. And they're textured. Yeah, they are textured, so that's probably why they textured them. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to use these for anybody else, so let's texture them. Same with the hands. They're probably not going to use these hands for anybody else, because it's got that thing on it. Mm. But these veiny arms, at least it's... Yeah, the veiny arms from here and up, they just take these bands off, and they could use that for the Hulk or someone. Yeah. But, yeah, I do like them. Let's look at his back muscles. Ridiculous. Look at he's got his blue eyes. That's something weird about superheroes I notice is... I'd say, like, the majority of superheroes have blue eyes. Like... I thought blue eyes weren't as common. But they all have blue eyes. I oh, guess brown eyes are definitely the most common. So here's the Marvel Select Juggernaut. Duster knot. <laughs> and <laughs> what's kind of funny is there's super texture on his costume here, but then there's texture here, but not as much. Just, I didn't realize. But still, overall, he's like even his skin has texture on it. Like he's really, really detailed, like all over. Which is why I really like this one. Like Marvel Select is usually a little more detailed than Marvel Legends. There's one thing that the new one has that the old one does not. What? A neck. Yeah. He definitely has no <laughs> neck in there. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> he may have a tiny neck, though, on the new one. Yeah. <laughs> this one's muscles are bigger. Well, Marvel Select's usually bigger anyway. Yeah, he's, he's ridiculously proportioned. Mm-hmm. I like it, though. <laughs> Look at the difference in them boots. But, uh, Look at that booty. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so this one looks a little more believable in the proportions. But this one just done like the details better. But, well, neither one of them is actually believable in proportions. So if it's yeah. not believable, then why not just go all the way? Mm. <laughs> Look, that you actually have those things raised, the black lines are actually yeah. raised, like you're saying. And the textures up here is different than down here. Yeah, I assume on that one that it's supposed to be like brown leather. That's why it's so textured. Yeah. I like that better. Like, I think if that was textured like this one, this one would be better. It yeah. painted better. Like, he's, his skin's all painted, but here it's just like basically one color of skin. I like the shading they do. One thing I always didn't like on that one, though, is how monotone his suit is. They didn't really make make it different colors, like the red's almost the same color as the brown. Yeah. That would be nice if it stood out a little better. And the articulation is a little less on this one. Well, he's also way bulkier. Yeah. Still not terrible, but it's not real good. <laughs> well, all he really does is stand on our coffee table anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Collect dust. Hangs out with the other giant bulky people. And he's a hell of a lot heavier. Whatever the Marvel Select makes their figures out of is way heavier than this. Dude, those, those Marvel Selects, you could like beat somebody with one of them. Like, they're dangerous. It's like wielding a brick. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna compare Juggernaut to some older Juggernauts. And I believe this is the very first Juggernaut figure ever made. Woo! Look how awesome it is. <laughs> made by Toy Biz. When was this made? Uh, 1991. <laughs> He's got wheels on his feet. <laughs> 1921. So he can go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and he also has a little thingy back here so he can go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do. He can make his jack off hand jack off, but not on his own dick. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a vast improvement over this thing. <laughs> That's not saying a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. And I believe this is the second Juggernaut figure ever made. <laughs> and he's got Ooh. some huge arms. And look at them colors, man. Yeah, weird colors and giant arms. <laughs> Why do you see this? Whoa! <laughs> 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 I'm so glad they gave him 
of a removable helmet. I know. You get to see that. <laughs> that looks awesome. And then he put his helmet on, and it, it, it still doesn't look right. His arms are as big as his body almost. Can you see his face in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He can't even see out of the eye holes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first one was better. <laughs> and here's a little Marvel Universe juggernaut. He's very brown. His arms are also ridiculous. Yeah. He's got the, he's screaming. What Rawr. is up with his forearms? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> They're even bigger than his upper arms. He's Popeye. <laughs> I didn't have too many of these Marvel Universe figures, but this one's a little ridiculous. I do like his mouth, though. <laughs> his big, his top teeth are way bigger than his bottom teeth, I think. His eyes are messed up. <laughs> I think, I think he's on drugs. <laughs> Here's this weird wave of X-Men figures that came out, where they're all like stylized or something. Like they just gave him a weird complicated suits that weren't actually in the comics, I don't think. I don't know. I don't understand that wave. But I bought the Juggernaut and I repainted him. So this is not how he looked. I Like all these parts here I painted because they were weird colors. But you can take his helmet off. It looks a little better proportioned than this guy. And he's got a lot more crazy details on his armor. This makes it look like he's got a football player outfit on or something. He's got a tiny butt for how big he is. Oh look! <laughs> He's got. <laughs> he can do a little rabbit move or something. <laughs> you got a tiny butt, you said? Yeah. Look how big the rest of them is. Look at his little tiny butt. You don't even got a butt crack. <laughs> you can see this shit. I think I went over him with Sharpie or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's some shitty detail I did. <laughs> Good custom. Yeah. <laughs> but I, this figure is just weird. <laughs> Yeah, put him in the back. Okay. Further. There we go. <laughs> there you can see how big he is next to some other Marvel Legends figures. This is the movie Hulk. This is the build a figure Ultimate Green Goblin. Who looks like he should be Abomination. <laughs> with spikes. But Juggernaut's bigger than both of them. So definitely didn't use the sculpts for them from them. And there's Juggernaut next to four other build a figure figures. <laughs> And uh, this Ultra Arm was sent to me by Foo, which is awesome, so thanks Foo. But then these other ones, I bought all the figures to build them. Except for him, I had to order a couple of Groot's parts, but... Groot's the tallest, and then Juggernaut's the second tallest, and he's still the bulkiest. I think Professor Purple Pants is my favorite, though. Professor Purple Pants? Yes. <laughs> That's his name now. Because <laughs> I can't remember his name. Absorbing Man. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's like, oh, I have a six pack. Oh, I have an eight pack, and also that thing up there. <laughs> That's like a six hundred pack. <laughs> and there he is next to the Hulkbuster Iron Man, which I bought all the figures to get this guy, except for the helmet piece. I ordered that, I think. I forget, but <laughs> <laughs> he's huge. He's the bulkiest, I would say, out of all of these that I've shown. Mm-hmm. He's pretty damn tall, too. He's also surprisingly articulated for how bulky he is. He is. I never reviewed him. So we should have reviewed him. Some, but maybe we still can someday. Oh. We played with him a whole bunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, that's almost kind of like we reviewed him. Because I played with him a whole bunch. So, I mean, it went over him. It just wasn't recorded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he is next <laughs> Two other build of figures that I've never completed because I just kind of don't really want to have to buy the figures. I don't want to get the pieces. But there's Onslaught and <laughs> Giant Man. I <laughs> <laughs> say Onslaught's a little bit better because he actually has a head. Yeah. <laughs> you should just draw a little face on there. <laughs> a little tiny white smiley face. <laughs> so there's the whole series together. And I think this is one of the best Marvel Legends series they've made. Like, there's a couple I don't really like that much like these two. And he's made out of some plastic where he doesn't really work very well and falls over a lot. Yes, he's really loose at the joints. But all the others. Cable's good. She's done really well, even though I don't care about her. I Wolverine's, like her face. Yeah, Wolverine's done good. 
Deadpool's good. Rogue's good. Deadpool's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Juggernaut's good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, these two aren't bad. It's just, just, they could be better. I really like the series. I think it turned out really well. And this is one of the ones where I didn't really feel bad about buying the whole series to get Juggernaut. Yeah, they're all pretty good. A lot of yellow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yellow is usually one of the X-Men colors. Yeah, but I wish it wasn't because I don't like yellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really like this Juggernaut figure. He's really pretty. He's really cool. He's really pretty. He's really pretty. <laughs> I know. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Like, his articulation's awesome. I really like the head sculpt on his face and, like, on the helmet and everything, the detail. I mean, it would be nice if there was some texture on here. What, the one thing that sticks out to me that I kind of don't like is the belt buckle. I don't like the way the belt buckle's painted. No. Oh. <laughs> but other than that, I think he's really good. I just think that looks weird. Yeah. Like, oh. dinged up gold doesn't have giant black spots. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But it's not a big deal. It's just a pelt buckle. But yeah, his articulation is good, and I like him. So, this is Mystery of Tea. And I'm Zombie Cat. Um, good job. I mean, thanks for watching, and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> good job watching. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Well, I'm the Spider, bitch. Don't call me a bitch. I did it. I called myself a bitch. Because I'm Spider, bitch. Oh, I thought you called yourself the spider, but then called me a bitch. No, and I thought you called yourself the juggernaut, bitch. No, I called myself the juggernaut and then called you a bitch. I said I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Well, I said I'm the spider, bitch. Bitch. Okay, now we got that thing, Kev. We can, uh, what were we going to do? I don't know. And I am Benedict Cumberbitch, bitches. Oh. oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or oh, you could subscribe, Nate! Oh, damn it!